What is going on my Super Saiyan which is Ryan Stahl here and today, the day is finally here. I've been waiting for this complete selection Dragon Radar since they announced it back, I believe it was January. They posted that video, it was really really awesome and basically this is like Bandai Japan releasing the uh, their version of the, the Dragon Radar, which obviously everybody knows what the Dragon Radar is. If you're watching Dragon Ball and you don't know what the Radar is, well I don't know what to tell you. Here it is. So let's go ahead and pop it open and see if it's worth the money. Uh, first and foremost, I did get this from Samurai Buyer uh, for like 120 bucks, I believe. That's what they sell for. It's a lot of money. Is it worth it? I guess we'll find out in a couple seconds as we pop it open. Now we'll point this out that I did already open this to put the batteries in. So this is not my first time unboxing, but for the sake of you know me opening it and putting batteries in there, might as well you know show you the entire thing. Did not count batteries for a $120. Uh, Dragon Radar, you would think they would at least include batteries, but they, they didn't. So, we get the, the actual manual, which no one actually reads the manual. Not that I can even read it, so there's that. It does a bunch of stuff. Look at it. Oh, I'm happy. There's actually mini games on this as well, but that's not why I bought this. I bought this more of as a collector item. And by the way, I want to point out that the box is really nice. It's like super high quality. It, when I held this to put the battery in, I want to say that the box felt more, uh, more higher quality than the Dragon Radar itself. But here it is. So... Let's pop it out, and the first thing I want to say that has me disappointed is the fact that this is not metal at all. I mean, I kind of expect it to be plastic, but for something as as hyped up as this Dragon Radar was, you would think that it would at least make at least make the freaking knob metal. So it spins, it presses, it, it's just like the Dragon Radar in the show, although the design is slightly different. Let's turn it off. Look at that. It's pretty badass. This part is badass. I like that. Let's kind of click past that. And in case you don't know who that is, that's Bulma in the Japanese version of Dragon Ball. Alright, so first things first, you got four options. You got actual options, menu, you got music. I like this. This is probably my favorite feature, this right here. Watch this. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it's the original Dragon Ball intro. And the sound, sound quality is pretty good. And if I go over to the right, we got the outro too. Okay, before we get you know copyrighted, <laughs> let's turn it off and go back on. If you hold the button down, it will take you back to the main menu. Just like that. Now there is a, I guess, mini game type of thing when you go into this option. I have no idea what she's saying. I'm gonna assume she's saying something like, hey, let's go look for Dragon Balls. There you go. And basically what this does is, okay, I stop, stop, I, it's fine. I'm, I'm gonna go look. You got the infamous beep, the Dragon Radar beep. Can we go get it? Can we go get it? Uh, 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 uh. See if I can get it. Uh, there we go. Hey, we got the three star ball. There it is. And then we can do that six more times to get all seven. Let's actually back up. To be honest, the Dragon Radar mini game. Can you not? The Dragon Radar minigame is more of a uh, gimmick, I guess. Really, the reason why you want to buy this is due to the fact that it's like a limited item. And obviously, if you're a Dragon Ball fan, you need a Dragon Radar. But the question is, is do you really need a Dragon Radar? And, I mean, the only real reason you would ever want a Dragon Radar is if you want to get uh, Dragon Balls. So, what better way to test it out than going Dragon Ball hunting? So, let's go see if we can find some Dragon Balls, and then we'll come back and continue this review. <coughs> All right, so I'm in the car right now uh, with Kirug. We're gonna go find some Dragon Balls, and I got the Dragon Radar. All right, Bulma, I'm gonna need you to stop talking. Can you not? Just, 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 just show me where the balls are. See, so you can see right there if you can see, because it's kind of like super bright out here. Oh, pull over! There's a, there's a Dragon Ball over there. All right, so according to this, we got it somewhere over here. I think this requires a montage of me running around stupidly in public. So 
according to the Dragon Radar, there's supposed to be something. Oh, this is an unstable clip. I shouldn't hand paint it. According to this, there is uh, balls or a ball around this area. Are we gonna find it? Yes. Potentially, maybe. Let's see if this is actually worth the money. Because the reason why I bought this is so I want to get all seven, make a wish, and then the crazy things. Actually, the question I want to ask is, if you get all seven, if you had all seven, what would you want? Comment that down below and uh, be interested to see what the community wants. What would you want? Um, to fly. That's boring. Actually, that's a good wish. That's a good wish. I honestly would save all seven until I really needed it because of the type of person I am. But if I had to use it, I would wish to teleport. Ooh, teleportation. That's yeah. better. But let's go ahead and see if we can find this uh, somewhere in this park to see if it's actually worth the money. So I guess let's see what we get. All right, according to Bulma, if she won't stop talking, there should be a Dragon Ball somewhere around here. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, I don't think this even works. This is a waste of money. This is stupid. I bought this to get Dragon Ball so I can get Wish, you know, the all seven make a wish, but it doesn't work. This is stupid. I guess I should go home. All right, and we're back from that goofy adventure. I don't know, I figured I'd kind of switch it up and do something different with this review. To be honest, I'm not really uh, impressed by this. And this is coming from me. I mean, I like pretty much anything Dragon Ball related when it comes to merchandise especially. I feel like I feel the need to buy every single figure that I come across. And in fact, I bought two of these because, well, number one, I thought it was gonna be a collector's item, which it still may very well be. And two, like I said, the box looks really, really nice. Like I'm just gonna display my other one in a box closed. You know, probably in the background of my videos, you can notice. But like, my problem is, this is expensive. <laughs> this is, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it takes three AAA batteries that you can just pop out in the back here. You guys unscrew it and pop it in there. Which, who still uses batteries anymore? I have to find batteries around my apartment, take it out of any remote control that I'm not using, and, and yada 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 yada. And it was kind of pain to do that. But like, I mean, like I said, it's cool as a Dragon Ball fan. But the problem is, is it just feels so cheap. It's just. It's plastic. Okay, what did it just do? Did it just go to okay, it went to sleep just now. It's plastic, which I mean, for something that was this hyped up, because it had like a full like marketing press around it back in like January, February, I would ex at least expect it to be metallic. If they had like the actual metal on the I mean, not the metal, but the, the plastic on the outside, like this stuff, metal, or even this, I'll be probably give it a higher score. But right now, I gotta say, this is something that you probably would want to skip. Now, if I was to price tag this, um, I would probably say no more than 50 bucks because this is just a glorified toy at this point. And I mean, it's cool. Let's turn it off for a second. It's cool that you can hear, you know, original. Stop it. Original. Uh, nope, stop. Bulma. Bulma, stop this. It's cool that you get like the original uh, intro and outro. Let's actually back out. That was the option menu. Intro and outro, but you can also just, you know, watch that on YouTube or something. And I mean, this is by far the best feature. This. The, just the nostalgic factor, like being able to hear this. I'm gonna go over, we got the outro. But again, I'm never probably gonna do this. In fact, this Dragon Radar is probably gonna just sit also in the background of my set, just in the corner, probably next to the box as well. It's like a little um, effect thing, but like I probably will, <laughs> I'll probably never touch this again. But I mean, Parby wanted it, and I guess the question is, is if I knew that this is what I was getting, would I buy this? Most likely not, to be real with you. Uh, like I said, if I were to tag it or price it, I would say no more than 50 bucks. But this is 120 bucks. On top of that, you will have to get, um, you know, you have to pay for shipping because you, you know, this is get, coming straight from Japan. This is not getting released here in the U.S. I don't think it's going to be. And if it does, still 100 bucks is way too much. Like I said, 60 maybe is the tops, but paying 120 roughly and then paying like another like 20 for shipping around 140, 150 ish. Eh, that's that's a game. Like but for me, the way I look at stuff is I. I if I buy something at 60 bucks, like that's a game. This is two games worth for just a, a Dragon Radar. So, I don't know. I mean, you let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, no, don't play that. Turn that off. Let's, let's turn it off, actually. Uh, this one right here. Let me ask you guys in the comment section below, I guess, is would you actually pick something like this up? I guess, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on that. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. So I hope you enjoyed this quick goofy video of me running around like an idiot in public. I want to do more stuff like that in the future. To be honest, one of the main reasons why I wanted this is because I wanted to do that video of me going Dragon Ball hunting on the beach, looking for a Dragon Ball that I actually ended up not finding. Even though, did I actually get, the, oh, for a second I thought I forgot it. Uh, to be honest, I just wanted to mostly get for this video for like a prop, but as a, a Dragon Ball fan, I gotta say I'm so disappointed. So, so we're gonna go ahead and put this back in the box and just kind of leave it in there and just, um, 
And yeah, but overall though, I guess let me know your thoughts on the complete selection Dragon Radar. I guess, again, uh, the, the best part about this is the high quality box. Like the box feels like it's higher quality itself than the Dragon Radar, and that, that's kind of a problem. Look at the art on this, this is incredible, this is awesome. But yeah, I mean, if you're a Dragon Ball fan, I guess pick it up if you want. Like I said, I got it from Samurai Buyer. I'm sure you can also get it off of eBay and stuff like that. Uh, and if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask me. But for now, I, I, I don't recommend this. I don't recommend this. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this out of the way and probably uh, look forward to the next merchandise that's released by Bandai for Dragon Ball products. But for now, that is the end of the video. So I guess if you enjoyed today's review slash Dragon Ball Adventure slash whatever you want to call it, feel free to leave a like rating below. This is the real life Dragon Radar. This is as real as it gets for now. And I gotta say, at least this is better than what they, what they released before. In the la last like, you know, 20 years of Dragon Ball, 30 years of Dragon Ball, every replica Dragon Radar that released was garbage. And this is by far the best one, but that doesn't say that much because at the same time, it's still not that great. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed today. My name is Ryan Style, and I will see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.